What up guys, it's your boy Mark from Mark Pinoy Bounds Ball Culture. I'm here at Elite Camp Training Center to chill and hang out with one of my homeboys, Mega City CEO, Jesse. We're also gonna go and check out one of his drop-in games here. We're gonna get to play with him and get to know him and talk more about Raptors. So just check this training with Silly. What up guys, it's your boy Mark and Mark. I'm here with my homeboy, Jesse Asito. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good, bro. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you so much for letting us Thank come you. in and Thank join you, you guys here. Because yeah, it's a so live, much. I mean, it's a live ball game happening in yeah. the background. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about how this kind of started on top of your um, Mega City basket. Yeah, so what, what we're trying to move into is a, almost like a new direction. Uh, we have our league, we have our camps, but for older guys like me, I just want to run. Yeah and coming out to something like this. Uh, and this is a late night run. This is after nine o'clock. Uh, you know, all the family stuff is done and I'm out here, you know, with my guys, just breaking a sweat, keeping in shape and playing the game I love. So uh, I'd like to continue to grow this thing. So far, the people that have been coming out really enjoy it. So uh, I think sky's the limit when it comes to this. I feel like this drop-in kind of hits home to you because as now, you you know, for someone that runs a whole basketball league, now with a dad, trying to balance all this, how are you finding time to bowl? How are you kind of integrating all this into your lifestyle? Uh, being an entrepreneur is, uh, it's, it's a constant struggle to find balance. Uh, and I'm still struggling today, and I'm sure in four or five years, I'll, I'll still have some challenges, right? But uh, every day I'm trying to, trying to find that balance. Uh, to put away basketball for a second and then focus on home or whatever needs to be done, right? Uh, but I can tell you, it's, it's a big, big challenge. It, it's part of the reason why this is a late night run, right? All that stuff is out of the way. I can come here, this is kind of like my getaway. Uh, and for me, I'll take this over the gym any day. <laughs> any day of the week. I'm the same way as you. <laughs> and, and I guess for you, how does it feel to, you know, to find this how does it kind of, because from managing a league to having to be a dad and then finding this, where does it kind of, you know, do you feel like the people here kind of resonates with you too in terms of finding that kind of, you know, getaway, finding oh, the community? Definitely, for, definitely. Yeah. Uh, and, and in terms of all the mega city work and managing everything, the beautiful thing is it's not just me managing the league and operating the league. There's a lot of guys. You've met RJ. Yeah. I'm sure you've met RJ. And I'm sure you've met a Happy whole bunch Happy birthday to him recently. Shout out RJ. Yeah. Uh, just the, the hardest working guy I know. Um, and then, you know, I have an incredible team that does a lot of the work that takes a lot of the pressure off my shoulder. Um, but being able to be here, a lot of these guys I haven't seen in years. Um, a lot of these guys are in the same kind of age group that I'm in, mid 30s maybe a little bit older, maybe a little younger, have a couple kids. Their kids are sleeping now, they get to come out and play. So this is just perfect for us. So uh, we're enjoying it, man. We're, we're, we're having a fun time. And I feel like you created a community here that just unites through the sport of basketball. Definitely. And, and I believe you know, the friendship that you made throughout the years, yeah. they can always come back to you. And, yeah, and uh, these are friends that I'll have for, for life. Mm -hmm. I will know them when I'm 55, I'll know them when I'm 75, yeah. and we'll be talking about the Kawhi shot. Yeah, <laughs> that would mean, which is something we're going to talk to in right, a little right. bit of you know, time, right. right? Definitely. So I guess to you, kind of the last few words, like, what are you, what is it to you? What does basketball mean to you? What does basketball mean to the people that you created this community for and the league that you've run? Sure. Basketball is basketball is life, man. Basketball is life. This is the most beautiful sport to me. This is a getaway. This is my sanctuary. Uh, some people like to, you know, do other sports, whatever. Everyone's a, a little bit different. For me, this is my thing. This is what I love to do. I can't play at a competitive level, but this, this is all I need right here. Exactly. <laughs> well, let's go straight to, uh, since now we have time, the second half of this is about the Raptors. Talk to me a little bit about how you're, you were like going through that playoff run for the title run that we did. Probably like many other people, I felt like I was dreaming the whole time. Like I, I, I'm, I'm a kid who like grew up on this stuff and I used to watch it on my little tiny TV and I watched the NBA draft and you know, I'd be writing notes. I was crazy about the Raptors, real crazy about the Raptors. So, and I've watched the really bad, bad years and I watched every single game. And you know, for us to finally win that championship, uh, just, it's surreal. When we won the championship, 
I was speechless. I didn't even know what to say. I couldn't believe that it was happening. You know, when Kawhi got fouled, yeah. I kept on thinking like, is something gonna so, happen? Is you he know gonna what make I mean? the shot? Is he gonna throw <laughs> yeah, to right. yeah. And uh, in, in Golden State in game six, he got fouled and then I'm like, what's going on? How come it's taking so long? You yeah. know what I mean? I always felt like somehow they're gonna they're gonna find a way to lose, right? Yeah. <laughs> but that's of all the torture for all those years of, of failing at the playoffs, but how sweet it is to win the championship after all the trials and tribulations of the year before. Talk to me about your favorite moments of that title one. Do you have like a top three, top five moment? The shot, number one. The number shot, one's the shot. One. I, against game, uh, game seven against the oh, Philly? The, okay. Yeah, game seven yeah. over Philly. Yeah. Dramatic. Yeah. Four bounces. Come on, right? <laughs> Who would have uh, thought that was going to Just, and I, I, me and my family are going crazy. Uh, I'll never forget it. Uh, probably another moment is Giannis. Uh, sorry, Kawhi Wait, dunking Kawhi over Giannis. Giannis. That was insane. <laughs> Kawhi dunking over oh Giannis. My God, yeah. uh, that was amazing. And then, um, uh, I mean, in hindsight, Pascal is actually the guy who hit the shot to win the NBA championship. So while it may be, while it may be not, people don't talk about that, but he's the actual guy who hit the shot. So I look back at that moment and I see Draymond making a gamble on that play. And that's a gamble he probably thinks about all the time thinking like, man, I, I shouldn't have went for that steal, right? You've just been straight up, right? But uh, hey, it happened, and I think those are the moments I'll, I'll remember forever. Yeah. And I guess to finally set us off, what do you look forward to this coming season? Or what do you look forward to see for the Raptors this 2020 season? Uh, I'm excited to see uh, OG Ananobi have a healthy full season. Uh, I'm excited to see the development of Pascal Siakam and if he can make that transition from the number two to you know, a true number one. Um, can he make that leap to becoming an all-star, right? Uh, I want to see if Marcus Gasol still has it. Uh, prior to the trade in Memphis, the offense was still running through him, right? So I want to see if, I, I, I can almost guarantee his numbers are going to go up because more of the offense is going to go through him. So uh, I, I think this team could finish top four in the East. You know I'm biased and yeah. you know I'm going to think <laughs> that they can go all the way. Yeah. Uh, but they're a very smart team. They're a very smart team. I'm hoping, you know, um, a couple of these new recruits, uh, Rondé Hollis and Jefferson. Um, I don't know if I said his name right. Yeah, you said it exactly yeah. correct. You're correct. <laughs> it's now. a hell yeah. of a name. Yeah. Uh, I hope that uh, he can uh, step up. And then uh, we got the Stanimal as well. Yeah. So And maybe Fred Van Fleet takes another step. Kyle Lowry takes a bit of a back seat. So I'm excited for the uh, team. And uh, like I said, we're coming off the championship high, but I think we're a very good team. I think we're gonna fly under the radar and watch out for us come playoff time, man. I'm very excited. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Jesse. Appreciate you taking your time and sharing your thoughts. Before we end up this segment, any last word you wanna to say to our audience right there? Uh, shout out to all the Filipinos watching Filipino TV. Uh, stay tuned. Appreciate you guys always hustling. You guys are everywhere. I don't yeah. know how you guys are doing it. <laughs> We're just you everywhere. Know, everywhere. Right All yeah. day, every day. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thank right? you so much again, Jesse. Right. Thank you. Welcome back, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that segment with my homeboy, Jesse. Make sure you guys follow him, Mega City, Mega City Basketball. If you guys want to play some basketball leagues, they have some amazing programs and they keep stats and highlights. But that's all we have for Pinoy Bounce. Anything last words we want to say? Uh, hey, good. Be sure to check us out on all social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and on YouTube at Pinoy Bounce. James, finish it off. Uh, check out the website, PinoyCrossover.ca. If you want to write an article about sports or anything, send us a message and tell us you want to write an article. So yeah, that's it. Awesome. Out of that, guys, happy 2020. Stay ballin'.